The pardoner's tale in the Canterbury Tales begins with the pardoner explaining to the pilgrims the methods he uses in preaching. He said that his theme is always creed is the root of all evil because with this text he can denounce the very vice that he practices, creed. And even though he is guilty of the same sins he preaches against, he can still make other people repent. The pardoner admits that he likes money, rich food, and fine living. And even if he is not a moral man, he can still tell a good moral tale. In Flanders, at the height of a black plague, three young men sit in in an inn, eating and drinking far beyond their power and swearing oaths that are worthy of damnation. The revelers mark the passing of a coffin and ask who has died. A servant tells them the dead man was a friend who was stopped in the back the night before by a thief called death. The young revelers, thinking that death might still be in the next town, decide to seek him out and slay him. On the way, the three men met an old man who says, I've lived a long time, that even death will not take me. Hearing him speak of death, the revelers ask where they can find death, and the old man directs them to a tree at the end of the lane. The revelers rush to the tree and find eight bushels of gold coins, which they decide to keep. The revelers thought that if they carry the gold in the town in daylight, they will be accused of stealing. They decided to transport the gold under the cover of night, and so someone must run into town to fetch bread and wine in the meantime. So they draw lots, and the youngest of the three loses and runs off toward town. When he leaves, the two others decide to kill him and divide his money. The youngest, however, wanting the treasure to himself, buys poison which he adds to two of the bottles of wine he purchases. When the youngest reveler approaches the tree, the two others stab him. After stabbing him, they sit down to drink their friend's wine and celebrate, but each happens to pick up a poisoned bottle. Within minutes, they lie dead next to their friend. All three indeed find death. This concludes The Pardoner's Tale. All must beware the sin of greed, which can only bring trickery and death.